you know, for, yes. for as dangerous as you said the Red Sox are, and for as much trouble as you guys were in the early innings of this game, with all the machinations, you guys were maybe a wild pitch away from, from pulling this off. I mean, did, were you thinking that? As oh, you yeah. think going by, the day was working? It was there. It was all there. And I felt, I mean, I think the, the, the real, if there was a, the, the tipping point might have been the walk of Bogarts. Um, and they had not pinched it, I don't think, for Drew at all. And they throw him up to be a one two count and walk him. And that, you know, that's pretty much how that whole thing began to roll at that point. And then the wild pitch, like you suggested, which is true. And um, that's, that's what put it obviously in their favor. I really thought we could do one nothing. I really thought it was in our abilities. Yeah. Now, I don't want to put anything in his head. I just wanted to go out there and play. They said, if you got off really good and stayed good, I'd let him go out farther. Uh, but I really thought, looking at it, um, you know, just, just trying to game plan. Uh, one time through plus through Pedroia, that would have been 12 batters. I thought that would have been, and then here comes Ortiz, who has given him some problems. So I thought at that point it would have been good to get back to uh, maybe um, Alex Torres. That was the, the game plan, but that kind of got blown up. And listen, uh, Jamie got out of a jam. Um, I thought uh, Manny Moore did a nice job, but I also could see that he wasn't used to that. And I thought there might have been a little bit of fatigue, even though it was 30 pitches. But then the rest, there comes Alex. I thought he could do two innings and seven. So I really came down to the one walk that I think really hurt us, although we did walk several people today.